Okay, hello and welcome back everyone. I'm Kevin from Kevin Kevin MC. And what we have here yeah, is, sorry very much, I, I do not have a tripod mount for my phone here yeah, because, yeah, so I lost that thing. Um, oh, shit. Uh, today we have this, which is uh, a Lomo LC wide lens, a 17mm f4.5, which we got off this Lomo LC wide. This thing someone sent over to get it converted to LTM, yeah? So here we have an LTM. 17 mil f4.5 let me pull the light up a little bit with a working aperture as you can see close up open okay and here's the cap the cap right there you see so this customer actually wanted to have the caps here because the last conversion he had, which was which was the Konica YY, I think that thing didn't have a cap, and he said that thing got scratched a lot. Yeah, so he also have a viewfinder, which is not very nice for your eyes. Yeah, it's quite straining actually, and it's quite big, which is not ideal. But there you go, that's a viewfinder. This thing, the lens itself, will focus from zero point something meters. It's very close up to infinity. Infinity is on a red dot right here. 0 0.9 is on, I mean infinity is on the white so you can see this white indicator right there yeah that's infinity the red is that's red right there yeah I'm not sure if you can actually see that that's red right there that is 0 0.9 meters everything here is like crazy macro so I'm gonna go show you this thing on my Nikon Z6 let me go get an adapter yeah this KMF concept adapter um, for the lens itself, what's quite challenging about this build yeah, was the aperture itself. It has a two-bladed aperture which has to maintain its shape basically throughout its throw. So I didn't want like a V-shape like the Yashica CC. I wanted to be like pure ovals going like this, which I have managed to do. You cannot make a two bladed aperture circular, yeah? So, see? It's like perfectly oval. Cat's eye, like, yeah, see? So, that's how it works. Everything is working behind here, yeah, basically. This thing is a baffle which is got like strips in it, yeah? I've seen this in like some. Like, basically, here, you can see this like jagged thing here yeah. just make this more exaggerated basically make them stick out that's what you have inside this light baffle so now you have zero light leaks from this aperture unit because obviously you have this here yeah, which is a hole in the front of the lens for the aperture control focus is quite smooth and nice the lens itself is only six millimeters in height if you measure like how much it sticks out of the body but the back is quite deep this thing will not fit in your average Sony A6400 or something like that, yeah, because it will hit the light baffle. I've tried on my Fed 2, which is basically a Sony x 3 n That thing didn't, didn't want this thing in there. So yeah, I screw this lens into this adapter right here. It is a standard LTM thread, but not RF coupled. So if you want RF coupling, you do not have it here, but obviously because this is a white lens, you do not need RF coupling to get sharp images. So let's open this Nikon Z6 up. Here's how it looks on a Z6. Power is being on. And as you can see it's quite a quite heavy vignette yeah over here. Let me go focus on this torch and focus on the calculator in the background. Okay. Quite sharp lens. Let me go set the IPIS to 16mm. There you go. There is quite a heavy vignette, which is because of the digital sensor itself, yeah. Not of the lens. Because obviously. You cannot 
sad way to sing vignette because of the rehousing. Like the thing is so flush. Like the lens is basically the face plate. Also the cap's quite interesting. Yeah? The cap has like three feet right here. These two will clamp and this is two position. So to actually put it on you should do this. Put one foot over here. Put this thing like this, yeah? Then you spin it. That's gonna hold it very very tight. If I do it correctly. Which I'm not. You see? That's not coming off. So yeah. That is my video on the con on this Global C wide lens. Hopefully you like the video. If you wanna convert your lens and you're in Indonesia, I will happily convert lenses for you. And yeah. If they're interesting I'll do it. If they're not very interesting, I might still do it. But they won't be this innovative, yeah. Basically, because this is not something I do on a daily basis. This was hard to make. And I like challenges. So yeah. LC wide. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.